Two-year-old Gunner is the newest member of the Rockbridge County Sheriff's Office. The German short-haired pointer can detect over 40 different explosive compounds. He can find explosives and also firearms, shell casings, um, anything that has any kind of residue in it. Deputy Sean Capps originally bought Gunner as a gift for his fiance, but Capps realized Gunner would make a better police dog than house dog. The two began training in Augusta County to get certified as an explosives detection team. The night before Gunner received certification, there was a bomb threat at Washington and Lee University. A user posted anonymously on the app Yik Yak that a bomb had been planted on campus. Caps and Gunner would have been there to help police if the incident had occurred a day later. That gave me a lot of motivation to, to get certified and, and get out there to, to start helping. The bomb threat at WNL turned out to be a false alarm, but Gunner has had other opportunities to apply his skills. He worked two parades in Lexington over the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday weekend. He also has checked out a suspicious package and found a firearm off Route 11 that police were looking for. Caps and Gunner are also participating in an investigation into a home invasion that took place last Thursday in Buena Vista. There was a witness who stated that there might have been a firearm involved um, on one of the individuals. Um, upon uh, apprehending one of the individuals, there wasn't a firearm located, and, uh, and we believe it allegedly might have got thrown out somewhere. Police do not know if the suspect had a gun or where it might be hidden. And that's why we're going to utilize Gunner um, to kind of pinpoint where it may or may not be at. Gunner and Cap still train together twice weekly. Gunner knows he'll get a piece of sliced turkey if he does the job well. For the Rockbridge Report, I'm Ned Newton.